I've seen the work that's being done at the Lou Ruvo Center. I've seen the passion of the people who work in that building, and you can't put a price tag on that commodity. It's what goes on inside the facility and then the outreach from the facility. And what I was uh, completely taken by was the way that people are treated. Carrie Simon and I really got involved by donating, by auctioning off chef dinners, but never did we dream that we were going to have to call upon it as a resource. To be able to have the Ruvo Center here was just extraordinary, and we were so fortunate in the unfortunate circumstances. We're able to create scientific progress with a very rapid turnaround. A lot of that is because of philanthropy. The reality is this stuff costs money. It costs a lot of money. So it's very important for everybody to get behind funding these very, very important research projects. With all the dramatic advances in research that we're discovering about a myriad of diseases, it seems logical that one would be optimistic. Patients need answers now, and we have to figure out new therapies, new understanding of diseases faster than we're currently doing. We have made great strides in improving the care of neurological disorders in the last years. When I was in my residency, that was when the first oral medication for MS was available. Today we have 13 FDA approved medications for multiple sclerosis. So even though we can't explain everything about MS, we know a lot, which means we actually can make an impact on the disease. In Parkinson's disease, we've reached a kind of a milestone. An abnormal protein called synuclein is what underlies the damage that occurs in the brain and nervous system. And now, finally, there are clinical trials that are just beginning trying to target this abnormal protein, minimize the damage that occurs and how it spreads throughout the brain. The Bexeratine study used a drug approved for cancer that it dramatically reduced the protein that causes Alzheimer's disease. We believe that this is a new pathway forward for Alzheimer's disease. There's so many unanswered questions right now about uh, the intersection of, of the brain and sports. Our study of boxers and mixed martial artists, which is the largest study of its kind going on in the United States today. I hope is that we can get realistic testing as they progress in their career in time to save them from serious brain damage. About 30% of the risk for Alzheimer's disease is attributable to lifestyle factors. We designed HealthyBrains.org because we wanted to give people a tool to take better care of their brains. It's important to support this cause our job every day is to not only create a hospitable environment for our guests, but it's also to make our communities more vibrant. We could reduce the 15 million expected cases of Alzheimer's disease to around 10 million. That would be such a fantastic advance to save 5 million brains and 5 million lives. Philanthropy is an integral part of why we've done what we've done in the short time that we've done it. We all take that very seriously. It makes it very personal. To see exactly the advances, how far they've come, to see how much care is given to the patients here and to really see that they put their money where their mouth is. I'm hoping someday we're gonna find some cure for Alzheimer's, that in some small way, my donations will make the Cleveland Clinic stronger. The philanthropic community must get involved to stop the pain, the suffering that so many of these patients are enduring. You want to know that your support is meaningful and that it's going to an organization that can be sustained and that can expand its work. It's a public health disaster to have diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, when in combination they already outstrip the economic impact of heart disease, cancer. You have to be an optimist to be in any of the neurosciences. We work every day with the optimistic hope that if we work hard enough and we have the support that we will be able to drive the cure and the mitigation of these disorders. We don't give up hope.